Hi, welcome to QuickShot session. QuickShot is a divide and conquer algorithm. First, we have to divide the given list into two partitions. One is uh, um, yes, shorter list one and another one is shorter list two. Then uh, to partition that given list, we have to choose the pivot element. That pivot element can be chosen as a first element or last element from the given array. Then we have to do the recursion to sort the two different lists. So here we are partitioning the list into S1 and S2. So this two half of the list has to be uh, recursively called to sort the given elements. Then finally this S1 and S2 will be combined together. To choose the pivot element, we can use uh, different uh, uh, approaches. So one is we can select the pivot element is the first index of the given array or last index of the given array. Which array item should be selected as a pivot? Here, to uh, why we are selecting the pivot element? So for a pivot element is selected to compare the list uh, to compare the list of elements. Uh, either greater or smaller so based upon that we will select the uh, uh, we will uh, partition the list into two halves if the item is selected randomly uh, uh, here um, that array will be uh, arranged in the randomly then we can select the pivot also randomly uh, mostly we will select the pivot element uh, uh, from the first index first index of the array or last index of the array so here we will use uh, the pivot element to uh, partition the element into two two portions this is s1 sublist s1 this is sublist s2 so based upon that here we will pass the uh, array here uh, the array is passing here the first index of the array then last index of the array n so when n first index is less than uh, last index then we are uh, partitioning the given list into two halves so here the array is passing first index and last index so we are calling the partition method here the partition method is having the uh, three arguments uh, first index last index and given array of list so here we are selecting the last element is the pivot element as we discussed the first index first index or last index can be selected as a pivot element but in this example we are selecting the last index as the pivot element then we are assuming i i equal to first minus one so first index is here we are passing one last index is we are passing n then here the first index uh, first index one minus uh, one so i will become zero then j is starting from zero plus one so first index then uh, j less than or equal to uh, last last is n so n minus one so here uh, we have to be careful because pivot element is the last index so we have to move uh, until uh, prior to the pivot index For, then um, we will select the example here um, first iteration uh, we will uh, move from 0th index to n minus 1 here uh, the given array is uh, 13 uh, 19 and 9 5 11 here our array index is starting from the 1 and last index is 5 so here i value is uh, i value starting from uh, 0 because you look at that uh, here we are having first first is here uh, uh, 1 1 minus 1 0 so i is 0 here i j is i plus 1 so j is here one then we are moving from uh, one to last one then in the iteration number one uh, we are taking pivot element is the 11 this one then here this is the iteration number one pivot element is 11 uh, then uh, I, I equal to 0 first minus 1 first is the 1 so i equal to 0 
then we are taking uh, j equal to i plus 1 so 0 plus 1 1 then we are moving until j less than or equal to last minus 1 so last is here uh, 5 then of uh, 5 minus 1 4 so from uh, 1 to 4 we are moving in the jth loop uh, here uh, a of uh, in the in the if condition we are checking array of j array of j is here array of 1 array of 1 we are having the 13 so 13 is compared with the pivot element pivot element is here 11 so 13 less than uh, 13 less than or equal to 11 so this is false once it is false the if condition will not execute again uh, j is incremented by 1 so j is 2 again we are checking a of j less than or equal to pivot a of 2 a of 2 is 19 so 19 less than or equal to 11 uh, which is false again the if loop will not execute um, then j is incremented by 1 so j is now 3 a of 3 less than or equal to pivot 11 a of 3 is here 9 so 9 is less than or equal to uh, 11 which is condition is true so once condition is true i is incremented by 1 initially i equal to 0 now i is incremented by 1 so after that we are swapping swapping the a of i comma array of j so a of i is 1 so 1 then array of uh, j so array of j is here 3 so we are swapping uh, a of 1 uh, 13 and a of 3 9 so we are swapping the three, 13 and 9 so 9 coming into the first index 13 coming into the third index so after that again I, j is incremented by 1 so now j value is 3 plus 1 4 uh, j less than or equal to 4 minus I mean uh, 4 j uh, 4 less than or equal to 4 true now if condition is executing uh, so a of 4 less than or equal to pivot 11 a of 4 is here uh, 5 pivot is 11 so we are uh, incrementing the i by 1 so this this uh, line so i equal to 2 now then we are swapping the a of 2 comma a of 4 so a of 2 is 19 uh, a of uh, 4 is uh, 5 so we are swapping the 5 comma 19 after swapping 5 is coming into the second index 19 is coming into the fourth index so after that again j is incremented by 1 so here uh, j will be a 5 so once j equal to 5 uh, then 5 less than or equal to 4, uh, 4 is false so we are coming out of the for loop so coming out of the for loop then we are having the swap of array of i plus 1 so here i value earlier 2 so now a of 3 a of uh, 3 swapping with a of 5 which is the a of 3 13 so 13 and 11 so both are swapping so 11 is coming into the third index 13 is coming into the fifth index no, no then uh, now you look at that this uh, partitioning is over so now the list is partitioned into uh, s1 and s2 so pivot element is positioned in the right place you look at that 9 5 these two numbers are not sorted but uh, uh, the second list 9 19 and 13 also not sorted but 11 is correctly placed in the right position so the pivot element is now uh, placed in the right position uh, then uh, left side of the pivot element is one uh, uh, half then right side of the um, pivot element is second half now we have to go for shorting that left half of the array and right half of the array of pivot element so once that position is once that uh, uh, step is over now we have got uh, sublist 1 sublist 2 which are uh, available uh, uh, left and right of the pivot element so now after that what we will use again uh, so uh, this condition is this statement is executed now we are calling recursion uh, quick shot array first to pivot index minus one so first index two the pivot index is now three so three minus one two so we are calling sub list sub array one two two then we are calling back this recursive call what we will do here we are having the sublist 5 under 9 
then again we are uh, calling back here the index now we are passing this first index 1 the last index is pivot index minus 1 so now 2 the last index will be 2 again we are checking uh, the pivot element will be array of last array array of last is 2 so now we are having that only two elements then first minus 1 is the G, uh, i value so 0 is the i value then here j is 1 then last minus 1 is here 1 so we are uh, taking or uh, the uh, jth loop here array of j what are the elements available here 5 and 9 so 5 and 9 are the two elements available in the sublist 1 here a of j a of j j is 1 so now this is 1 2 i value is 0 so a of j is 5 less than or equal to pivot pivot is the a of last that element is 9 this is the pivot element so now a of j less than or equal to pivot a of j is 5 so 5 less than or equal to 9 so now uh, what we will do so we are uh, incrementing the i so i will be incremented by 1 so i is incremented by 1 so, uh, now we are uh, so here uh, this one is uh, a of j 5 uh, here a of uh, 1 also 5 less than or equal to 9 then i is incremented by 1 so now i value will be 1 a of uh, a of 1 a of 1 is also 5 a of j a of j also here 5 so 5 will be placed in the same position then again moving back so now i is j is incremented by 1 so this is 2 so 2 less than or equal to 1 so this is false so it will coming out of the loop array of i plus 1 i plus 1 is 2 pivot is also 2 so uh, it is uh, same element is placed so in the same place so now we have we have got i plus 1 so 5 and 9 is sorted out as it is so 5 and 9 then uh, this portion is now sorted out sublist only sorted out now second line is uh, array pivot index plus 1 so pivot index is 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 comma 5 so now we are passing the sublist 2 sublist 2 is having this two elements 19 and 13 so here we are passing 19 and 13 is a sublist so again a recursive call so index now we look at that so this is 4 this is fifth so first index is now 4 last index is 5 yes 4 less than 5 it is true then we are calling the partitioning method here we are passing first index is the 4 and the last index is the 5 so once we are passing this now here uh, 4 and 5 are the indices we are passing here so first index is 4 last index is 5 so here our array is here and 19 and 13 19 and 13 sublist 2 so now the index is 4 here 5 so array of last is the pivot element then first minus 1 is the i so first is here 4 so 4 minus 1 3 is the i so j plus j equal to i plus 1 so 4 j less than j is now 4 less than or equal to last index 5 yes it is true now a of 4 a of 4 here a of 4 uh, he is now less than or equal to pivot this condition is false once this condition is false this will not execute it is coming out of the loop now array of i plus 1 what is the i value 3 so array of i plus 1 is 4 index then pivot element is 5th index so 5th index and 4 index are having 19 comma 13 so we are swapping this once you are swapping 13 will 13 will come into the this place 19 will come into the this place so now we are returning the i plus 1 i plus 1 is here 4 so fourth index is the now pivot element so the pivot element is placed in the right position so now these two numbers are uh, shorted out again uh, you look at that so now uh, this is returned into here so 13 and 19 we have sorted out so actually this is the pivot element then 19 so now again what will be happen left side it will have it will be s1 this will be s2 again we are uh, we are calling array here uh, again we will call uh, 
Uh, here we are having the 13 and 19. This is fourth index, fifth index. So now this is the pivot element as per the su second sublist. The now we are pa we are calling this again. First index is now four. Okay, F uh, first index is now. You look at that pivot left side of the pivot. There is no elements. Pivot, uh, left side of the elements, no elements. Okay, so you look at that first index. So first index is four. Pivot index minus one. Pivot index is also four. So four comma three. So this is actually you look at that. We are passing into the quick shot when you are passing this. So now first index is four. Last index is three. So now four less than three. This condition is false. So it will come out of the loop. So this is the way to uh, finish the algorithm at final final stage so now we have sorted out uh, 13 and 19 so these elements are sorted out so left side of the pivot element is also sorted right side of the pivot elements is also started so finally our uh, data is sorted out so this is the way to apply the quick shot for given number uh, in the previous uh, example we have taken the pivot element is last now this is uh, the having first element is the pivot element. So five is taken as a uh, pivot element. So here, uh, uh, from the first index, we are so we are taking the first. Uh, I mean uh, pivot element. So we will start from the i plus two. Okay. So j is i plus two last index. So here j less than uh, r equal to n. Okay, so this is the condition. We have to change the condition here. Okay, so then we can use the pivot first element as a pivot element. Again, we here also we are having S1 and S2. So finally, uh, sublist uh, S1 um, left side of the pivot element, sublist 2 in the right side of the pivot element are shorted out. So here time complexity, uh, we are taking uh, two sublist. Okay, so sub sublist one uh, left side of the pivot element sublist to uh, gray, uh, right side of the pivot element uh, so uh, here which is taking log n which is taking log n and uh, here uh, how many number of partitions for n number of elements we will do the partitions because you look at here uh, in the uh, 19 here you look at that so nine uh, left side of the index also we are taking right side of the index also uh, pivot index also we are, are taking for this here what we will be what we will do so for this you look at that uh, uh, array is having the only one element pivot index plus one is five last index is here uh, five so we will pass here so the, so for each element we are passing here five less than five it will become false so n number of times we are calling this partitioning method so here uh, this n then this log n so n log n is the average case complexity the worst case it is order of n square because for all the elements we will use it to uh, call the uh, partitioning and also quick shot recursive calls so it will be order of n square thanks for watching